Greetings, minions, aliens, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade Dagger playing Imperion Galactic Survival, and this is episode 7. As you may uh, have already known, if you've seen my previous episodes, I've been having a really rough time. However, off camera, I have been globe trotting a lot, and eventually I did come across three, count them, three magnesium mines. I think one was right there. And there was another one somewhere else out here that I used up all my drill charges on. Let's see. Somewhere out here, some uh, lower end, I believe. But yeah, it, it took me quite a while to hunt them all down and quite a while to run on foot around the planet. Still trying to find that one. Never mind, it's on it's out there somewhere. In any case, um I got as much magnesium as I could with what little drill charges I had left, and it was enough to get over a thousand uh refined magnesium. Which, you know, is a good thing. Um, and so I've been spending time while it's been dark to refine it, build ammunition, and try to get things ready for the new day. And hopefully take back my backpacks as well as beat the hell out of that base because that was irritating. Repeatedly irritating. Uh, fun to a degree, <laughs> but irritating nonetheless. So, anywho, uh, I'm just going to put that up in there. Let's see, make sure this is off. One of the needs we have right now is we have a need for feed. <laughs> see what I did there? So, we are going to do some hunting. And first off, we're going to eat some boogers. <laughs> Now try getting that visual out of your head, huh? I figure since it's, it's getting close to daylight out, might as well have a little fun. You look tasty. And he's we we got a runner. <laughs> and we got a swimmer. Who needs oxygen to breathe? I mean, seriously, it's overrated. Come on, jetpack. I know, I know. I could have swam through all that, but... Why? It is more comical that way. <laughs> Alright, booger, time to pick ya. So you can pick your friends, you can pick your nose, you can't pick your friend's nose, but you can pick whatever nose that thing came out of. Mmm, <laughs> Beetlejuice. I hear that they're going to be coming out with a sequel for that movie. Weird. Okay, edible creatures, where are you? I must taste you. Get out the Worcestershire. And garlic salt. Little cayenne pepper. Mmm. Them's good eatings. We got another runner. Just so you guys know, the blue ones always run. Of course, they run right into the water. Haha, -ha, I'm not drowning this time. <laughs> He's a sinky. Alright. Hello, give me a kiss. Give me a little kiss. Come on. Come on, give me a little kiss. You know you want to. I'm adorable. Give me a little kiss. Not from that end, you... <laughs> I want to kiss your butt. Get over here so I can give you a little kiss. Ooh. 
You really got a runner on this guy. Ooh, back of the head. That's gonna leave a mark. More boogers. More little guys. Now, the gray ones, or the gray-brown ones, those will come and try to take a bite out of you, so watch out with those guys. I think we got plenty to make some salami. Oh, come on. Seriously? There we go. So let's stock this bad boy up. And salamify him. And turn it on. Heh <laughs> That would help. And see how we're doing over here. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna keep a reserve of ammunition over here. Just because I'm special. Now, one thing I, I think we really... Well, the base isn't really completed. I did get a bit carried away with the, the notion of... Um, taken over alien bases and the like. And the reasoning for that is, well, w last time I r was really getting into playing the game, which was like over a month ago, it was a challenge, but it wasn't as hard as it is now to go through and just take over a base and, you know, you're good to go. It's a lot tougher now. Wasn't really accounting for that challenge, um... And now I am, so I'm going to shy away from, from getting our stuff back just yet. And because of going out there and getting killed repetitively, um, we've neglected doing much building on the base. And I'm thinking it might be a good time to get back into it. Although, my backpack way out yonder has a good chunk of my uh, blocks for working on the base. I can make more, of course, but we'll see. Anyways, that's still going. Uh, we need to get some food. And let's gorge ourselves. I might as well just max it all out. Why the hell not, right? And we'll put the excess in here. Actually, I like to kind of keep them on separate lines, just so they're easier to spot. Now, wait a minute. No, I don't want to put it in here. I want to put it in the fridge, which is up there. Let's take a look at our power consumption. And we got enough for <laughs> five more minutes, which means we've been using up power like crazy. Let me just throw in these... Oh, yeah. Definitely been using up a lot of juice. That's why the electric bills are so high, so damn high. Alright, so... What shall we do today? Let's kill more critters. We're gonna need food anyway, right? Hello, I'm here to kill you. You want to give me a kiss? I give you a kiss. Back of the head. Because I'm not, like, really, really creepy. Just creepy enough. That's what I call excellent fire control. <laughs> Alright, you... Man, I wish they would do something about the, uh... Jitter cam there. Get up there. Let's see, where did he go? This will be a bit tricky to find. Above water, anyway. Bloop. Ah, there he is. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go pick some more boogers. <laughs> So yeah, when you're when you're out in the water, it's best to just get make it so you have just your hand 
Um, so if you do bob up to the surface like that, you can swim better. Uh, someone, I, I apologize if I've forgotten your name over the, what, two, three months since you posted it, but uh, yeah, it makes it so that you can swim better. If you put anything else in your arms, you're just going to sink like a stone, which is amusing, but not necessarily fun, depending on your gameplay. Hello. Where's your daddy? I'm not your daddy. I ain't gonna ask who's your daddy. I just wanna know where's your daddy. Where is he? Speak! No! Oh! <laughs> that is one lucky dino. <laughs> Alright, we let him be. Let's go pick a booger. And stupid plant life. <laughs> oh, you're not a booger. Imperion Galactic Survival Booger Eating Simulator. Eh, get up there. Alright, let's see. There's some boogers up there. Two of them at least. Let's go pick their nose. Ooh, there's like four of them up here. Interesting. Here, booger, 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 booger. Ooh, there's a daddy dino. Come get me. Come here. Booger chew, I choose you. <laughs> hey, Papa Dino. Uh oh. Ah! That's no good. He pissy. He pissy. He dead. Alright, let's go pick another booger. Aw, no meat on that booger. Hmm, Let's see, we got him. And there's all these blue ones, and they just run away into the water, which is an irritating situation. So let's find some more boogers. Let's load up on boogies. Got nothing else better to do at the moment until everything's constructed back at the base. I'm so tempted to go back to that base and try to get back my backpack. Especially now that I got some ammo. But I don't want to be stupid. I gotta be s play it smart. Usually, with other games, you know, like when I first play them and they're already established what is safe, what isn't, you know, you already get rocked into that mode of like, okay, I gotta be really, really stingy as hell, gotta be, you know, really tight on things. This one started off so soft that it kind of made me all squishy. Ah, uh, yeah, eat it. Because I'm gonna eat you. And I should be playing it a lot tighter with the ammo consumption on these creatures possibly even using the shotgun which you know others have said that it's a better gun especially up close well only up close really is what shotguns are made for is up close um, but I don't know I just like the rapid fire of the assault rifle uh, salad monster we meet again but not up close never up close I might have to get up close. Yeah. Ha! 
Haha. <laughs> Good. Got him. These little SOBs bother me. They bother me a lot. Okay. Let's see. Maybe we could. Yeah, let's take out our vengeance on these stupid salad monsters. I really hate these guys. Irritating as hell. Always climbing up your butt. And not like toilet paper. It's more like. Poison ivy toilet paper. Imagine the fun that would be on your cheeks. Suck it. <laughs> I am king of the mountain. Ha <laughs> ha! Hello. Your name is Salad Mentoya. I killed your father, and now you die. Mm -hmm. Let's see, maybe there's some boogers over here to pick. Because I really just want meat. I don't want to just take out all my vengeance on those salad monsters. I want to spread it out a little bit, you know, and enjoy it as long as that delicious, delicious revenge lasts. <laughs> Right, what do we got on hand? Ooh, that's a lot of meat. I would ideally like to fill my inventory with meat. That sounded like innuendo. Shout out Sharky. <laughs> if you guys didn't get that joke, and you haven't been in Haladmer's live stream on Friday nights, it's a great inside joke. <laughs> it really is. But you guys gotta check out Haladmer and you gotta check out Sharky. He's new to making videos and and uh and all, but he's got a great channel and I strongly urge you guys to check him out. He's a good guy. He's a buddy. So just help him out a little bit, check out, you know, subscribe to his channel, check him out. Tell him Silverblade sent you. And after he's done cursing and swearing and spitting and sounding like the Tasmanian devil, he'll be cool with you again. I guarantee it. <laughs> if, and if that bothers you, just say, well, you know, Silverblade sent me, don't shoot the messenger. And, you know, he'll be cool with you. <laughs> no. Sharky's cool, I'm just, I just like busting his chops a lot. Yeah. These guys are a bit tougher to shoot. It's like they have a very small targeting spot on them, which I tried to aim from the mouth or the upper carapace here, but um, sometimes when you're in the heat of the moment, it's not exactly all that easy to hit a dime. You know, or, well, it's about the size of a dime, it seems like. Okay, I don't see any more boogers out here. Come on, boogies, time to spawn. Okay, that sounded kind of kinky. You did? You did, man? Yeah, man, I'm dead. Okay. Alright, let's go back and, uh... Ooh, here's a bug. Bug BQ. Whoa, get a little myopic vision there. tunnel vision as it were. Sometimes it is kind of hard to gauge how far away they really are through that scope. It's not so much a matter of 
how far away, it's more of a matter of how close they are. And I've taken a heck of a lot of damage. Hmm. There we go. So let's set up ourselves a uh, booger and bug BQ with a uh, side appetite, uh, side appetizer of dinosaur meat. Mm. Tasty extinction. <laughs> Is that one of those salad monsters? Nope, just one of those stupid plants. Alright. Alright, hey, let's get in there and make some, some lunch meat here, huh? Excellent. Get my Mr. Burns on. <laughs> now you may be wondering why I choose salami over the ham, the steaks, or the ribs, and it's simple. The salami has a longer perish time. Not really a, a whole lot of difference. I mean, you look here, it's 100, 100 food, 10 health, 70 perish, 10 stamina. And so it's usually a difference in stamina and perish time. Um, but that's really about it. I'm not really too worried about the stamina again. It's usually a perish time because if I cut the power to the base. At least the uh, food will last a while before it goes up on me. I think that's measured in minutes, so it's like 75 minutes um, without it being preserved in, in uh, the fridge. How much more? Uh, not much more meat. Okay. Thought I had one of these alien teeth up here. Now I do. Haha. <laughs> I put them mostly over in the, in the other constructor there. Alright. Whoops. Oh, okay, well. Let's build another fridge, shall we? I think there's a bigger one in here. Let me see. Fridge type 2. And that's for CVs and bases. Okay, that'll work. Put it in there. All right. Oh, that's bigger. They say bigger is better. Well, okay. <laughs> eh, hell, we just put it right there. And of course, it's got much more space to it. So. So this, we can turn off. That'll save some power. Now I know it used to be that you can turn off the power on these and it would still work and it wouldn't drain energy. I don't know if they fixed that or not and I really don't feel like testing that. So we'll just keep the power on in that. I mean, let's see what the power consumption of this is. Um, 
energy in 50 kilowatts. Uh, it's about the same, but the spacing, uh, the amount of space provided is different. Fine by me. Um, four minutes of power left. Wow. Or is, or wait a minute, is that minutes or hours? I'm thinking that's minutes. Yeah, it's minutes. Or hours of time left. Herpy derp. Okay, so um, well, we're near the, getting near the end here. So I'll tell you what. Next episode, we will either continue building on the base, or we will build a small vehicle so we can go out and scavenge as much resources as we can from the planet. I'm kind of leaning towards the vehicle part because then I can try to attack that uh, that base and get my shit back. So we'll work that out. I'm going to turn this off for now. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Let's... Uh, uh, you didn't say the magic word. <laughs> let's see, we got to power these bad boys back up. Now one thing I've noticed that really kind of disappoints me um, when they change the game, they, they change the, the build requirements for um, advanced constructors. So where was that? And it was in here just a little while ago here. It should be all right, right here. It now needs two power co uh, coils. And power coils require a restroom and zecosium, which means I'd have to go to Ninga's and Estus, I think it is, to get both of those elements just to make a, a an advanced constructor. Which makes me believe I'm going to have to build a warp core. Let's see what that entails. I don't know if I I'd have to do that with a cap ship, I think. Yeah, that's not gonna fly. Um, <laughs> all right, well we can put this stuff away. Okay, remind me not to get any more oxygen bottles. Actually, you know, I'm gonna construct a couple oxygen bottles. <laughs> Just to top off what I got. I mean, I'm gonna oxygen rich planet but as you see I get in the water quite a bit and that drains it out so this ain't gonna hurt nothing if anything it just makes things last a little longer so I'll get this run through <coughs> I'll probably end up making more ammo I can never have enough ammo but I don't want to use up all that I got here at least not yet Ah, I, I put that back, didn't I? Nerds. Time to suck it. Alright, let's chow down on this. Almost completely topped off. Now we definitely got to start working on this, and I think what I probably will do is I'll, I'll I got to have blocks anyway. So let's build some. I'm gonna go for. Ooh, I probably can't make that much. Two metal plates, so we'll make um. We'll start off with 50, and I'll worry about that off camera and have it all ready for you guys by the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching, and let me get outside or up here where it's quieter. That generator is noisy. Ah, the peacefulness. You gotta love the view, especially with the new graphics. It's just gorgeous. 
So anyways, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And especially for those of you that have subscribed and, and keep checking out my channel, I really do appreciate it. Um, yesterday, it is confirmed that I've got, gotten over a hundred, or not a hundred, uh, ten thousand total views across all of my videos. And I think I got like 360, 370 total videos on my channel. And, uh, and yeah, so I crossed the 10,000 mark in total views, which I'm really, really pleased about. You know, I didn't think I'd have that many views by now, but a lot of thanks goes out to Grandma Shirley. Um, you can check out her channel. She goes by the name of Shirley Curry. Um, wonderful 79-year-old grandmother who plays video games. So if you d you're unfamiliar with her, you've got to check her out. She is adorable as hell. But you don't cross the boss. <laughs> she, she's sweet and kind and loving. But if you irk her, she will hunt you down. <laughs> and it, no vengeance like Grandma Vengeance. And uh, and uh, you know she she provided a big bump in my views uh, by giving me a shout out just recently. And I am really really grateful for her uh, for doing that. She supported my channel way back before she even had videos out. And uh, I'm glad to be able to play multiplayer with her and it was so nice of her to you know use her influence to uh, send views my way and, and I really appreciate that but I shouldn't also forget my good buddy Haladmer who uh, for several months now has been you know telling people about my channel and you know help me out uh, we've done multiplayer co-op together and uh, he's a great friend, good guy, and I really, really strongly urge you guys to check out his channel, subscribe to him, um, like all his videos, as well as Grandma Shirley's videos. Hit them up, guys. They've done good to me. Do good for them on my behalf. It, you know, it's just my way of saying thank you to them, and thank you to you guys for watching. Uh, and if you guys already know about them, great. Just keep checking their channel out and supporting them. Um, of anybody that I know on the internet, these are two people that really need, you know, really deserve uh, the accolades and and uh, you know the good vibes from people. And and that's not to undercut Sharky either. He's just starting, so I'm hoping to do uh, help help out with him as Hal and Shirley has for me in whatever capacity I possibly can. Uh, of course, they got better, uh, greater influence than I do, but. Um, you know anything I could do to help out them because they're, they're all three of them are great great people so check out their channels subscribe to their channels like all their videos and uh, there you go so if you like this video well you know what to do right and if you don't you must be really new to, to YouTube <laughs> just go ahead and hit that like button and if you didn't like it well hit the dislike button I won't hold it against you I won't come to your house and shoot you in the foot or in the knee. Um, I might not even use a knife or a gun. I might just use a knife. But no, I'm just kidding. Um, just leave a polite comment, a constructive comment as to why you didn't like it. Uh, it'll just help me to improve and make things more entertaining uh, and better for you guys to watch. Uh, provided that it jives with what I'm about. I'm not going to change myself to please everybody, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, and if you like my videos and you think that they're worth sharing, then by all means, please do. Just don't spam them. I don't want to irritate people more than my videos already do. <laughs> so please uh, be kind and mindful of that. And also, if you haven't already, by all means, subscribe. You can keep up to date with all the crazy, wacky madness, infotainment, all that good junk and stuff. And, uh, yeah. So anyways, again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for putting me over that 10,000 view goal post that I've had. I really do appreciate that. And until next time, seize you later, Twitch.